Hello! This is your evil twin, welcoming you back to Let's Play Wolfenstein! This is the uh, start of the airfield mission. Which is uh, a multi-stage mission, consists of uh, several levels. That was pretty gruesome. And, um, you know, actually, uh, you know, is the uh, final section of the game. Now, the uh, Nazis here are actually in um, Air Force uniforms. Which is, uh... He's reloading! Attack! Yes, it's a rather, uh, rather good detail. Colonel, I would like to request six additional generators be delivered to the hangar as soon as possible. Our experiments with the Elite Guard are requiring more power than we originally predicted. I realize this will double the number of generators we are currently using, but believe me, it is well worth the cost. Come and see the results for yourself. <sighs> experiments of an Elite Guard requiring vast amounts of power. Ooh, been a while since you've seen one of these. Flamethrower troop. <laughs> oh, fantastic! Yes, he, um, he exploded! I, I, that's actually what I was planning to do with my own flamethrower, but, um, but yes, I caused his fuel tank to leak, and then uh, it's. Seems that his. Uh, his flame uh, ignited it. Ah, oh, that was uh, that was great. So um, I practically got full ammo anyway, but uh, went look a gift horse in the mouth. Got myself uh, some flame throw fuel there. Oh, and before I go, Up here, yes, here we are. Motor pool personnel are no longer permitted to deliver vehicles to the east side of the airfield. Contact the appropriate SS security forces upon completion of vehicle repairs and refits. SS security details will arrive and deliver the vehicles to the restricted areas of the airfield. Oh, the east side is particularly restricted. And of course that lets BJ Blaskowitz know that um, that's where he needs to head. Lycanfaust ammo now has a yellow or green uh, glass sheen to it. That's the uh, increased capacity upgrade. And we've got some Ponza Shrek ammo here. And uh, we don't need it. We're already uh, fully stocked on uh, Ponza Shrek ammo um, due to the infinite ammo crate in the uh, previous uh, level. Wow, those guys have got bloody good throw. Oh, that's a shame. Now, uh, yeah, you can fight down here and use your normal weapons, or can uh, head up here and use this anti-air turret.
And there's a lot of explosive stuff here. Oh. Um. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, um, if you're lucky, you can sometimes sort of cause a chain reaction and uh, destroy um, pretty much everything. Um, everything all in one go. You know, set off the fuel tanks, blow up the, uh, the trucks, and uh, yeah, I only directly shot one or two of them. Uh, the rest of them were killed by uh, explosions. Aha! Everything here? Oh, okay. Um, that's, uh, yes, okay, some uh, executions been going on in there. We've got a wall of, uh, Veil Force Fields. Oh. Um... <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah. Allies are doing uh, airstrikes on this airfield. Now, uh, these mutant creatures now come with bombs uh, strapped to their backs. <laughs> Our, uh, yes, your uh, shield uh, can uh, safely disintegrate them, um, you know, when they get too close, uh, without detonating the bombs. But uh, disintegrating enemies does use up a lot of Veil energy, so uh, you're likely to end up um, running out of power, thus getting blown up. So here we have another one of these gyroscope machines. Center have got an elite guard floating, and she is uh, immune to being damaged. This time we won't be shooting weak points on the rings, like in the church mission. And there is this sort of force field bubble around the rings. A couple of scientists down here. They're not protected, but uh, I think there's little point in me killing them because they're probably not going to survive what's going to come up anyway. I do like all the details of the uh, generators and um, cables and the, uh, the cult markings on the floor. Oh, uh, now normally elite guards have the ability to uh, resurrect dead Nazis and turn them into these undead, despoiled creatures. 
But now that she is super powered by that machine, uh, she can just create these creatures uh, from nowhere. The uh, trick, of course, is the uh, the generators. Yes, yeah, so the uh, fully upgra upgraded uh, power ability is indeed extremely powerful. Even the, uh, the submachine gun has no difficulty taking these guys out with using power. So, ah. He actually fired his gun at me. I could have shot her, but that was that was that was fun. Well fought, American. But let's see if you can survive a greater challenge. What's this greater challenge then? That just seemed to be the same same sort of enemy that I've just been fighting. You pathetic little man. How dare you destroy my pets? Now I just have to kill you myself. And that put an end to her. Yes, and she fights her at the end there. She is no tougher than uh, she would be ordinarily. You can put an end to that sort of mini boss fight very quickly just by destroying all three generators right at the start of the fight. Uh, it will immediately jump to that um, to that ending there. So uh, it wouldn't have been much fun if I'd done that though, now would it? Death's Head has expressed his satisfaction with how the crews met the schedule. I myself consider it nothing short of a miracle that we were able to move so many tons of scientific equipment to the Zeppelin and install it in a matter of days. It was also impressive that so few lives were lost in the process. Clearing a room like that is, uh, you know, is exactly what that um, longer fire time upgrade uh, for the flamethrower is for. Ooh, uh, Tesla ammo. Yes, 
Now, uh, yes, this room is just for uh, picking up goodies. hurt due to my shield, but still that's worrying. You know what? Additional security forces are to be posted at all entry points to the underground utility tunnels. It is vital that these tunnels be closely guarded since they allow access to key areas throughout the airfield. Right, in that case, let's use one of these underground utility tunnels and gain ourselves some access to key areas. Handily, there's a tunnel right here. Ah! Been a while since we've uh, had fun with one of these. <laughs> oh dear. So that uh, thing in the uh back in the uh cannery sewer level about um you know shooting their fuel tanks. Um yes, actually shooting them with bullets won't cause them to explode, but if you shoot them so they leak Ignite them with a flamethrower. Then lots of fun to be had. Aha! Uh -huh. A veil inhibitor. Been a while since we've seen one of those. Ah, flamethrowers and flammable barrels. Turns out they get on like a house on fire. <laughs> 